What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job in fact leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it all right drivers and dashers out there uh, I'm sure you guys were anticipating this video but I wanted to put it out there uh, because Thanksgiving is among us and first and foremost happy Thanksgiving to all of you <clears throat> you know, if you guys are uh, celebrating it, of course, like most of us are. So just a couple of things I wanted to go over with all of you uh, in regards to working Thanksgiving Day, uh, whether it be DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, but it seems like the majority of you guys are on DoorDash, so we'll focus on that. So as I've said in previous holiday-related videos, there are, are a few things to keep in mind. Um, but with Thanksgiving, since Thanksgiving really is about the meal, you know, the big meal, uh, I know my family, <laughs> we, we celebrate uh, our Thanksgiving dinner around 3 to 4 p.m., uh, you know, typically every year. Now, a lot of other people may celebrate the actual dinner at different times, so that is something to keep in mind. But I have worked Thanksgiving in the past, and I typically will work the uh, morning and uh, lunch rush, which really isn't uh, a huge, huge rush, I would say. But for me, what I have noticed is that the morning like breakfast rush, if you want to call it that, um, is busier than the lunch rush, I think, for obvious reasons, because, you know, people are still putting the finishing touches on things, you know, things that they're making, uh, side dishes, the turkey, the stuffing, you know, the whole ordeal. Um, so during the morning, people are ordering breakfast for themselves so that, you know, obviously they're not going to want to make breakfast for themselves while they're making the main course, you know, the main meal of the day. So you're probably going to see a lot of breakfast orders coming through, uh, you know, like bagels and diner orders and things like that. Uh, probably a lot of fast food like McDonald's and things like that too. But that leads me to the second thing you want to keep in mind, because like I said, you're probably not going to get a ton of dinner orders. So if you're, if you're not with family, you can definitely turn on your apps and see what comes through, but I, I wouldn't count on, on anything too drastic for dinner time. So morning and, and lunch are definitely going to be the times you're going to want to focus on. So now that we're talking about restaurants, that leads me to that. One of the biggest issues on holidays with these apps, like I've said many times in the past, and I'm definitely going to keep repeating myself for the newer drivers out there, is a lot of restaurants will be closed, okay? However, sometimes they will leave their tablets on, and this, this proposes a monstrous problem for us because what happens is customers that are looking to order food during those times it's going to show that the restaurant is open on the app. So they're going to be placing orders. The orders are going to be processed through the tablet at the restaurant, which is actually closed. But then what happens is the AI or, you know, the artificial intelligence or the algorithm or whatever through DoorDash, Grubhub or Uber Eats is still going to dispatch those orders out to us, whoever's online, whoever's closest and whoever's going to accept it. So then what happens? You accept the order, you drive to the restaurant and it's closed. The lights are off, the door is locked and you can't get in. And then what happens? You just wasted your time. I will tell you this. If this does happen to you, do not just reassign the order. Call DoorDash, Grubhub, or Uber Eats, or whatever platform you're working on, and let them know that this restaurant is actually closed. Let them unassign it from your queue. Is this annoying and time consuming? Yes, but you don't want your completion rate affected if you end up doing this. So these are just a few things to keep in mind when working any kind of major holiday, especially, but the ones like Thanksgiving and Christmas Day and New Year's Day, those are going to be the big ones. So definitely keep these things in mind. Now, my question to all you drivers and dashers out there is, 
Are you working this Thanksgiving? Let me know in the chat or the comments, or are you taking the day for yourself? I would say if you absolutely can spare the money, take some time for yourself. So on that note, happy Thanksgiving to you all. Let me know what you're doing down below in the comments. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pin top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pin top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L-I-K-E-D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.